Hi, uh, this is uh, Rooney207. Uh, welcome back. I just wanted to uh, touch base uh, for today's uh, episode. We'll talk about Splinterlands, uh, Steam Monster Inc., and how uh, they arrived at maybe perhaps um, part of their balance sheet. Um, I, I don't have the entire picture, but um, I thought maybe one of the ways we can start in case um, anyone is curious to establish um, some of their uh, revenue source. Um, what I did was I... Uh, I try to break into about 15 uh, components, uh, potentially what may encompass or roll up to their income uh, income statement uh, for in their balance sheet or something like that. Um, so the the first one I have is the uh, summoners uh, spell book. How many of these they they sell? It'll be um, uh, ten dollars per increment, and then. They do uh, transact quite a large number of uh, credit sales uh, via PayPal, credit cards, and uh, other crypto transactions that uh, eventually gets converted to DEC and make uh, purchases within the um, in-game ecosystem. The uh, team, they're distributed uh, 9% of the total uh, uh, of the three billion uh, SBS, uh, so they'll uh, they'll get 270 million uh, SBS as part of it, so it's 9% of that. The uh, Rooney sales on Open Seas. Uh, this one there is uh, Splinterlands as a service. We don't really um, have a clear picture of what it is, but it's uh, it's part of the tech modernization and part of the roadmap. And based on one of their town hall, uh, it's labeled as Invenium. Invenium, I believe uh, that's what it's uh, correctly pronounced. And it, it's actually a pretty cool concept, and it allows Splinterlands to take it and incorporate. Um, and help other Web2 or potentially Web3 companies um, add and integrate into the Hive ecosystem or elsewhere, depending on uh, how much further they've expanded tech modernization and some of their technology uh, stack and portfolio management piece. I think this uh, could lend one of their largest revenue source uh, going forward. Uh, it's, um, it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, the sixth one is... Uh, items around Soul Keeps or the new uh, GLS, the soccer uh, league, and that's including the GLX token, the um, the packs, uh, the nightmare packs, and things like that. That accompanies that piece of it. Um, they do collect 2,000 uh, DEC per tournament fees, um, and then I think Weird Beard will exempt uh, various uh, uh, hosts uh, depending on their history and uh, their relationship with Splinterlands. Uh, the various partnerships, promo cards, and any of the uh, part, um, activities on the Hive uh, ecosystem that they'll derive uh, from uh, from that uh, aspect. So it, it could be uh, the, something like the uh, the NFT uh, uh, area, um, uh, the various uh, components within the the Hive. Um, uh, I forgot what they're they're called. Uh, basically, they're the validators for um, the witness uh, folks uh, within. So there there are very and then uh, other games or streams within Hive. Uh, I'm not fully aware of it, um, so I can't really um, try to guess. Uh, Splinterfest, uh, what they collect for for their events, uh, merchandising from uh, Yoden, um, uh, kitty stuffed animals, uh, card packs and sets from the Alpha Beta Untamed Dice Chaos Rift Watcher. Uh, these are part of the core expansion or mini uh, set. Uh, the marketplace uh, rental fees, the five percent that they'll they may share component uh, portions of it with their um, their partners. And uh, then there would be number 13 on the list, the land, totem, titles, and any related uh, packages uh, piece. Uh, that would be uh, part of that land uh, consolidation. Uh, the in-game uh, shops, such as skins, potions, essence, orbs, um, things like that, that uh, may be listed there. And the, uh, the last uh, item is a part of their treasury portfolio management and investment piece, a part of their cash reserve on their balance sheet. Um, it could be like US dollar, it could be Bitcoin, Ethereum, combinations of crypto. Um, it could be um, their Hive or Hive um, uh, block dollars, any of the, um, or back dollars, um, any of those that uh, may add up to it. I just wanted to kind of uh, break down and list uh, all the ones I'm aware of. Uh, I'm sure there are uh, other areas that um, the Splinterlands team may 
uh, may, may grow and add revenue source to, uh, to it, but I wanted to just uh, highlight that. And if anyone knows any other ones, um, and uh, they can just um, add to it or l let me know, and I can uh, add to this um, uh, this document as well to kind of, uh, I just wanted to kind of mentally uh, keep track of it as we're having conversations with uh, various uh, parties and YouTube streamers. Sometimes we, we, we talk about it. And uh, this is um, it for this uh, video. Uh, thank you so much.